National Guard members are ending their deployments at local hospitals as COVID cases steadily decline. And that includes Miami Valley Hospital in Dayton. Tudor's reporter Caroline Morris is live in the studio with that timeline. Caroline. Guard members will be leaving in a tiered approach, some as early as tomorrow, while others will leave in two weeks. Miami Valley Hospital says the decision is due to the decline in cases, but also moving members to more high incidence areas in the state. They came at a time where we were at our greatest need and uh, we cannot say thank you enough. Around 80 National Guard members circulated Miami Valley Hospital since the first week of January, and now members will be returning home over the next two weeks. Miami Valley Hospital Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roberto Colon says Guard members served as support staff in the emergency room, patient transport, logistical work, and COVID testing. So really being able to support the overall mission without necessarily being at the bedside offering direct patient care. We don't um, refer them as non-essential because they absolutely are essential, but they were not the ones doing the clinical work for the patients. On Friday, guard members will also begin leaving Atrium Medical Center and a COVID testing site on Main Street. The rest of the guard will be at Miami Valley Hospital until February 22nd, pending order changes or modifications in their mission. If you look back to where we were over the past month, we really experienced the worst of this pandemic during that time. And they were here when we were experiencing our worst. Um, it would not have been um, it would not have been an easy task to be able to fill in those shoes. Now, before Christmas, over 2000 guard members were deployed across the state, and now the Ohio Department of Health says only 1200 remain in 28 hospitals. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, two news working for you.